Hello, everybody. Uh, Dan Calloway here, and uh, I'm going to uh, create a part two to this video. Uh, if you watched part one of the video from yesterday's Jitsi meet with the WNCLUG uh, Linux Users Group in Asheville, you notice that the uh, video terminated prematurely and part of the pr presentation was lopped off. Not sure what happened there, but I uh, decided to go ahead and create part two which is an important part because in this part two, I actually show you um, the fifth step uh, or the fifth part of my presentation rather, which is to show you that you can customize and tweak uh, Tmux and make it a lot easier to use and also use a plugin called Tmux Resurrect um, that allows you to restore your sessions um, during a you know reboot of the system or power loss, which you can't do by default out of the box with Tmux once you install it in the terminal. Um, so anyway, this is part two of the WNC LUG Asheville um, uh, presentation on Tmux. And so let me get started. Uh, I've gone ahead and I've got show keys uh, up and I've got uh, full screen now. And uh, what I'm going to do is, uh, what I had done, if you've watched the first part of the video, is I have uh, reloaded the tmux.tmux.conf file so that when I start up tmux, it will read that file and render in the uh, contents of that uh, tmux uh, config file um, and, and render that to do a customization and tweaking of that tmux session. All right, and so I'm going to go ahead and launch Tmux. Bring up the first session. Okay, so I'm in Tmux now in the first session here, session zero, and uh, the bash is the first window of that session. All right, and so rather than now using control B for the prefix, uh, as I had done before, the uh, configuration of tmux now based on the .tmux.conf file, that hidden file in the under the home directory of the user, that is the new prefix, all right? So it's going to be control A is equal to prefix now. Much easier to use, much easier to reach than control uh, B, which is a stretch for your hand. All right, so I'm going to do, uh, what I'm going to do first uh, is I'm going to create in this first session, first window, I'm going to split the screen in half. And so I'm going to control A and V, which now splits the screen. Um, instead of using control B and, um, and shift percent sign. All right. And so here, now that I have this uh, up and running on the right hand side, I'm going to go ahead and um, run a df-kh to show you that you can do, um, you know, uh, looking at your, um, how much disk free space that you have on the right hand side. And then rather than having to um, utilize the command that I did under the default configuration of Tmux, uh, if you recall, we have now mapped that to the alt key and so with the Alt key, I can do an Alt left arrow and while holding the Alt key down and do a left arrow. And that takes me into the left pane. If I do an Alt right, and that takes me to the right pane. So I can go back and forth. Much easier to do, by the way, than, than uh, the, the previous way with the default configuration. And so in this one, I'm going to do an uh, H-top. Let's just do H-top here. All right, so I've got H-top running on the left window. I've got something going on in the right window. And um, so let's uh, go back over to the right window. So I'm going to do an Alt and right arrow. And I'm going to split this now horizontally. And so uh, I'm going to do a Control A for uh, prefix and I do an H for a horizontal split. Much easier to do than the previous. And so in this one, I'm just going to run a ping, and so I'm going to do ping uh, 3, and I'm going to do 3 times data pioneer. .org. All right, so I'll get uh, 3 pings of data pioneer.org, 
And I can zoom into that window again, control AZ this time. And so I can zoom into that window, see much easier to use now. And then I can do a control AZ again and zoom back out. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, uh, detach from this particular session. So I'm going to do control AD, detach from that session. And show you that now uh, I'm going to create another session. I'm going to call this one monitor again. And so I'm going to do a um, tmux uh, new and dash s monitor. And the first window I am going to call uh, htop. Right. And so now we have a new session here, home monitor, with htop running. So I'm going to run htop in the very first uh, window here. Right. And so now to create a new window. We'll use the new prefix, control A and C for create. And so I created a new window here. And I'm going to call this one uh, a top. And so I'm going to um, do a control A and uh, comma rather than control B. And so that gives me the re rename window in the status window at the bottom and the status bar. And so then I'm going to type in the name of that window that I want to create which is going to be a top. All right, so now it's a top and I'm going to run a top in the terminal section. And so now we're running h top here and we're running a top here. So let's get a third window going. So I'm going to do a control AC to create that third window. And I'm going to rename this window right out of the bat here. Uh, I'm going to call it glances. All right. And so it's now called glances, and then I'm going to launch glances in that window. And so I've got three windows now for this monitor session, uh, htop, atop, and glances. Now I'm in the glances window because I've got the star here. Now to move to the uh, second and first window here, recall the way we did it in the uh, default configuration, we had to use a uh, prefix and uh, p for previous to get to the previous window and prefix an N for the next if we wanted to move to the right. Here now with the new configuration and the binding we have, I've bound that functionality to the shift key arrow. So I can do shift left arrow and it takes me to the atop window, which is the second one. Hold the shift key down, left arrow takes me to the first window. And then I can go quickly, hold the shift key down and go to the third window much easier to do than was the, the previous uh, under the uh, default configuration. Moreover, I can take the mouse, since I have mouse functionality now, and I can just click, you know, in the particular window that I want. So I can move back and forth within these windows very easily using the mouse functionality. All right. All right. So let me go ahead and uh, detach from this window. Now, the functionality for the summary is the same. Sorry about that. Tmux A dash T. Got ahead of myself. Let's go back into the monitor session. And now if I do a control A and an S, that takes me to the summary window. And I can cycle through these windows uh, just like we did before in the default configuration. And I can pop out and go to the Windows uh, uh, one window uh, session, which is session zero, which is the first session that I created today. All right, now the, to demonstrate the functionality of the Tmux Resurrect, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this uh, configuration of the two sessions that I have currently up and running um, in Tmux. I'm going to save that, and when I do that, it's going to save the configuration out to what's called a resurrection file or a resurrect file. And that is located under the .tmux directory, which is a hidden directory under your home directory. And that's created when you when you clone the, uh, the tmux uh, plugin manager or the tmux uh, re resurrect. If you do that uh, directly, but I'm going to do it, you know, via the TPM. And so I've already uh, in this presentation, I've already uh, fetched the uh, tmux resurrect plugin using TPM and it's ready to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save these two sessions and show you that it will survive a uh, simulation of a reboot or a re 
uh, a you know, reboot of the system, reboot of the uh, server if it's remote that you're remoting into, or uh, also a uh, power loss. All right. And so in order to um, save the sessions using tmux uh, resurrect, you need to do a prefix and then control S and control S, not shift S. All right. And it says tmux environment saved. You notice that down here in the lower left hand corner hit the wrong key there. So it's it's control A and then control S. Looks like control A and control S here. All right. That's the way it is. And so control A, control S actually saves the session. And now I can get out of this session by detaching from it. And so if I run a tmux ls, you can see I have these two sessions here, one called monitor and one called session zero. And rather than uh, leave this and then come back in and connect to one of those, I'm going to go ahead and simulate a power loss or a reboot by running tmux kill server. Now, if you recall from the previous video, if you watched it, kill server kills it and I lose everything. All right, so running that, all right, I'm going to now do a uh, clear screen and come back up. And if I do a tmux ls to list out, you see there's no server running. And if I try to connect to some of the session, a session, by running tmux attach, I get no sessions. All right, but fret not because I uh, have tmux resurrect installed as a plugin using TPM. And now I can restore those two sessions that I had previously. In other words, I am simulating a resurrection from a reboot or a power loss here. So if I walk away and the power drops on the, the laptop or if I reboot my laptop for some reason that I need to, uh, I don't lose my sessions like I would in the default configuration of tmux and its default uh, setup. And so to do that, what I need to do is launch just a session of tmux and get in, all right? And uh, and then once I'm in, I'm going to do a control A, which is the prefix, and then control R, I'm sorry. And that restored the session. I did a shift again. I don't know why I did that. So anyway, control A, control R, and the control A, control R now restores the session. And you notice in the lower left-hand corner, it did say restored all right, and so now I have both of my sessions up again. And so to prove that, I'm going to do a control A and B to detach from those. And then I'm going to do a tmux ls. And you can see those two are back. All right, zero and monitor. All right. And then if I wanted to get into one of those, all I got to do is a tmux attach and target the monitor section, for instance. And now I'm back in again. So that simulated a, uh, um, you know, persistent tmux session uh, post rest, post restore. Uh, I mean, post uh, restart of the system or a power loss. And so you are able to with the new configuration file, which is that hidden file .tmux.conf under the home directory. Um, you are able to. Uh, survive a power loss or a restart of the system. All right, so that's the part of the video yesterday in part one that uh, got lopped off. And uh, so I just wanted to bring that up and show you that it did work and they just weren't, weren't able to present it in yesterday's uh, live stream, which uh, terminated inadvertently. All right, and so this ends uh, part two of the uh, video. Hope you enjoyed this video series and uh, we'll see you next month. Take care.